Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to yet another Friday evening. Of course, if you are curious about what men think, how they drink, well, this is the place to come. If you want to pull back that curtain and find out what it's like in our world, you're at the right place. It's called The Black Table, and I'm not alone, never am, but of course, Mr. G-A-N-G, Mr. Gang in the building, want to say hi? Hello, people. Good to be here. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Mm. He's not the only one. You guys loved him, you liked him, so we decided we were going to bring him back. Mr. Femi is in the house. His uh, opinions are as unadulterated as his alcohol. So hey, this is gonna be a big one. <laughs> you wanna say hi real quick? Go on. Hi. You put yourself in trouble the last time, didn't you? Baba, they finished me. They finished you, who uh, exactly? Hey man, <laughs> that guy, I'm sure he cheats. So Don't you hear what he said? They will have plenty more to talk about today. And of course, who else is in the house? Mr. Philip Asaya in here, the Thank bearded you. one. Thank you. And by the Thank way, you. he has a fetish for Candy Crush. He's been playing it all evening. He hasn't stopped. He's the king of the mountain right now. We're what just... level are you in? 3,000. 3,000. There you go. Just the way to, you know, relax now. Relax and take time. <laughs> time out. So all four of us here today, we're going to be having plenty of uh, interesting conversation, which you can join in. You want to follow us on social media. We are at TVC Connect, for one. And then when you want to make a response, you want to use the hashtag TVC, or rather, The Black Table on TVC. That's hashtag The Black Table on TVC. And you can also do that on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. We're going to get to read those messages. So do stay tuned. Welcome once again inside the Black Table. My name is Mazino Appeal, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty then, so welcome back, people. Let's talk very interesting topics here. It's a men's world. Wait, Femi, how come your drink is almost finished already? <laughs> As in, he likes life. Friday nights. Nah, I agree with you. I'm out the house. Doesn't happen all the time. It's all good, man. <laughs> when you have the chance, use it well. Bye -bye. Like I like Let it say. roll. Let it roll. All right, so interesting conversation here over the week. For the third time running, um, skills, you guys heard actually put his wife out there again. Now, Skills is a Nigerian musician, everybody knows, and um, over the week, he, uh, we've been getting information about him and the status of his marriage. But not just that, also the fact that he lost his mother only just recently. And it seems that that has caused a very, very unfortunate instance in his marriage because he's put out a diss track for his wife, praising his late mother, and then, you know, calling his wife all sorts of unsavory names. Tell you what, let's take a listen to what it sounds like. I couldn't listen to it. This is the, old, this is the second time I'm going to be listening to it because I couldn't take much of it. But uh, take a listen and tell us what you think. We'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll be back. I'm a son. Never thought that I'll be married to the devil. My life is a movie that shit on another level. Woo! Uh, ain't no much to discuss. It's too much to bear. I'm just filled with disgust. Woo! I lost my queen to the evil of this cold world. Now it's just me alone against the whole world. Yeah, I just had to make you feel my pain. Cause I would never hear my mama's golden voice again. Disappointed by the one I call fam. This shit wasn't no love, it was all for the... So it's not that there's a diss track out there. It's the fact that he's made it on social media and everything he said about his wife since has been on social media. Um, he also put out a post where he said, um, I never, well, in the diss track he actually said, I didn't know I was married to the devil. From before that, he had put out a post where he said, whatever you do, don't get married to a heartless woman. And um, he also called her out when she put out a message commiserating with him on his mother's past. He said, would you take this down? You know, you weren't there for her when she was alive. Now you want to pretend to be there. Something like that along those lines. I don't want to, uh, should I go first, guys? Should, should, I, should I tell yeah, you guys everything? Go ahead, go, go ahead. Go. First of all, I want to say, I only just discovered that he's 31, only recently. I would like to think that for a certain generation of people, you actually should have waited until you were mature enough to get married. That means he was married at 31, first off. Secondly, the state or the mind of current celebrities now, they believe everything should be out there and everything should be, uh, should be celebrated. I don't think so. I will tell you a story about the one time when I left uh, media and um, my phone stopped ringing after two days. Mm -hmm. 
and I felt depressed. I'm like, where has everybody gone? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that they thrive on, the fact that everybody sees, listens, and worships them, and they want to use that community or use that power, and they, they need to feed it. That's just my saying. I might be very wrong, but I just think that that's the influence. You're really pensive here. You're shaking your head. Like, because I don't understand how a man would be married to a woman. You guys go your separate ways. And not only did you do all the things, like, you went to the extent of penning down a rap dress for your ex-wife. Like, who does that? Not ex. They're still married. Like, I don't even care. How? A dis, a dis a distract for your wife. No, 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 no. no. I, there, there's, there's, um, was, we're talking mm -hmm. earlier on, and it's, it seems to be like this particular generation leads and feeds off of social media. Social media. They leave and feed off the screen. And you should understand that that, that goes with a, a certain kind of mental health disorder oh wow okay yes of course that's why we have the high rate of um suicides now mm. we have people have making very poor judgment mm -hmm. a lot of poor judgment happening now because the internet is telling you what to do everybody can become a celebrity now mm -hmm. you, about, know? you think this thing is common sense now well it's common sense is not common like they say it's not mm -hmm. actually common mm -hmm. gang you're quiet you. Well, here, here's the thing. I knew it was going to be here. Baba week. Was, oh, Baba week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of, of skills, mm. and I'll also, to an extent, say I'm a friend. Now, there are two scenarios for me. Number one, it could be the case of the mother-in-law. We know the relationship between mother-in-laws and your wife. That's one thing. So we really don't know what the relationship was between his late mom and her. Okay. I know Skills loves his mom a lot. She was yeah. even on the cover of one of his albums. It was a single mother. She, 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 she yeah. She, so, she but then, him up then secondly, th there was a post he put up on socials where he was saying something about his mental health. Mm -hmm. I think the death of his mother, because of the closeness they had, the death of his mother is affecting him that he not he might not be in a rational state. Thank you. So and I still pen down a verse. Yeah, but that, well, that's actually, that's actually but that's very he's possible. Still, he's still in a certain stage of grief that he has certain expectations from his wife. His wife put up a post. I read the post. There was nothing wrong with the post she put up. Mm -hmm. But he now told her to take it down, mm -hmm. that you should have kept the same energy. Okay. And there was nothing wrong There's, with what she the, said. I, I think the, the only problem I have, like, like you said, it's true. It's very, very possible that the, the death of his mother is affecting him. Is affecting him. But the only thing, the only problem we, we seem to have now, not just with skills, but with everybody, is the culture, the cultural trend that we're having now. The fact that we have to put everything out there. Like I was saying, anybody can become famous. Mm -hmm. You take your dick out and swing it and put it up oh, on wow. social media. <laughs> you become famous. True. Mm. True. The but problem with it is that fame also comes consequences. Con consequences. consequences. Well, yeah. So that simply means when I put myself out there for people to judge my personal life, whether it be my marriage, my health, my state of mind, it's, it always ends up bad. And why, why, do, why do the celebrities keep bringing out you, 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 your wife cooked food and did not and put didn't salt, salt. <laughs> then you come out and put it up on social media, you cook food and you didn't put salt. It's everybody's business, everything is out but there. Does he have management? Okay. Yeah, he does. He does have management and I was so talking to a nobody friend. Nobody thought that I was like, okay, dude. Take, out, take, take, take away out. his phone, yeah? Like, okay, let's, let's disregard all the tweets, all the whatever I was doing. He went into the studio, made a song, mm. and his manager didn't say, okay, bros. Don't do it. Don't do it. I think oh, someone should take his oh, phone uh, away from him. Oh, oh can I say? But can he's, I also, he's also the one that handles, nobody's handling his socials. Mm. He's the one in charge of it. Sometimes he's manager, sometimes he's not. The funny thing in all of this, you know his wife hasn't said nothing. All right, nice. Oh. Now, who's so the, that's uh, good judgment there. Who's the big Do you understand? She, she hasn't said anything. She hasn't put out her own mixtape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, <hasn't, laughs> she hasn't done anything like told, that. But I, so I think she's keeping a calm head. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, they're still a couple. Mm. You see what I'm saying? They're still a couple. And you're doing that. So, and you're doing this. I, I think, like, you're right. So many people bring certain things to social media that we really don't need to know. Mm. But I listened to the song, and so far, bars, the song sounds nice. 
I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Nice. Now you see, you, but, see, you but, said but something about the play. management. He says something about management mm -hmm. right now. I'm not trying to say that's what skills management should be doing. Or anything. I, don't, I don't know, but but we know any kind of publicity is good publicity. It's publicity. Right? Yeah, but you think it's gonna help his? It is could. I'm not gonna see could. what I was about. Well, to say. it could. It could. You feel it's like, help his music you feel like right music career move. Well, we we know a family that rose to become billionaires in dollars from scandal. The Kardashians, yeah? Yeah. So those are strategic True. lots. Those ones where they, 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 I, they, right they've got now, people who sit around tables to actually that's decide. Why, that, that's the reason why I said you would not even, we would not, we would not put the responsibility um, on the management. Mm. True. True. Because any form of publicity is good publicity. I'm not, and I'm not saying that, that you, you know, skills you know, management. Asai, you know what I think? I think we're, we're being a bit too academic in this. I think. <laughs> Let's go wrong. Let me tell you, you know, <laughs> first off, I want to just say that I still believe that apart from the culture of social media and screens and everything and wanting the likes, ding, 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 and all of that, put that aside. <coughs> I think marriages these days are a bit too immature to handle what comes with it. There is no marriage that is, you know, smooth. Yeah, awesome. And there's nobody that's telling these youngins that, listen, it's gonna be tough here and there, and when it gets tough, this is what you should do. Please maintain a level head. Don't put your family, your wife especially, out there. It's gonna be dangerous for you. Six months down the line, you're gonna hate yourself for doing that. Somebody called me yesterday and said, hey, um, I don't know if I should tell you this, but uh, it's about my brother. And I'm like, yeah, what about your brother? Like his marriage. I'm like, hey, not my business. protect yourself. No, I said protect them first. You don't need their details. Let them handle it. I agree. I mean, it's when would you rather have got... No, okay, let me ask you a very plain question. Around. When would you rather have gotten married, knowing everything that marriage that I know now. unfurled for? Mm, maybe never. Oh, let's not lie. Ah. No, no, I'm going to be honest. So yeah, well, the, live TV, we can't I edit know, no, that so too. The truth of the matter is... <laughs> we the, can't edit it. The truth of the matter is, I personally believe that everybody, and when I say everybody, I think I speak for everybody, both male and female, got married without really knowing what it entails. Mm. You learn as you go. Like, mm. it wasn't in school that, okay, um, they would have briefed you before and then they would set the exam. This one, you just enter, they just give you an exam, right, straight. And the truth is, no two marriages are the same. Right, yeah. Yeah. you're always going to wing it one way or the other. There are things that are accepted in your house that are not accepted in mine. Yeah. There are things that your wife will be like, mm, it's okay. Another person's wife will kill them for. Yeah. Mm. And because there's really no right or wrong way to do it, everybody's just winging it. Mm -hmm. There's no template. There's nobody to follow and say, okay, well, this, this. In all honesty, I feel like, and I'm being honest now, I feel like there are times when I look at my wife and I'm like, how am I going to do this? Like, <laughs> this girl deserves peace. The honesty, uh, man. No, boy, it's the honesty. Like, no, I have, to, I have to agree Gang, with Femi. When would you rather have got married? I'm, I'm, I'm on the same page with Femi. Mm. And now, for me, here's the thing. Because of I have, I have two daughters mm. that I love more than I love myself. So, so it's a great experience with them. Outside that, honestly, it's something that maybe I wouldn't have done. For real? Yeah. Well, you got married what? What, what age? Uh, I think I was about 31, 30, 31. Yeah, yeah and you said that by a, by a certain age you weren't... Yeah, because what I, I told myself I wanted to get married before I was 30. Mm -hmm. Then if I didn't get married at 30, by 35, maybe I'll be a baby daddy. Okay. After 35, I told myself, let me just stay single. That's a man with a plan. Fortunately <laughs> for me, I got married at 31. Yeah, that's because you got lassoed into being... No, not really. I didn't. You got your wife pregnant, didn't you? Didn't you get your wife pregnant? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a yes or no question, though. Didn't you? I'm sorry. No, that's a yes or no question. Sorry. You, you, you need to understand <laughs> sorry, sorry, that my penis goodness. works. It's not my fault. <laughs> no, I like yeah, that. I like that. Like in or full capacity. Like maybe you just like testing. It things functions in full capacity. Okay. But, but, but here's, here's the thing. Okay. Like, it, that, that was not the basis. My wife knew I wanted to marry her before oh, we got oh, married. Correct guy, correct guy. Well, well, you got well, to get me. Guy. Because let me not lie to you. I told her something and I was like, let me not share it. But there was some things she was able to deal with my lapses. Mm. We all have with my BS. Do you understand? Unlike some other people. So to an extent, I knew she was a keeper. I knew that this is who I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. escape life. <laughs> but with the experiences I've had over the past 12 years, like Femi said, sometimes you wonder, why am I putting you through this? Through this, mm -hmm. exactly. So it's you. Understand? You, you see, this, see the can difference I, between... Can, can, Lisa, go ahead. You, you, you... Yo. I, I, I beg to differ, though. Well, okay. Not totally differ, but, like, differ. Mm. Like, almost to... Real quick, because we have to take a break in a minute. Yes. I think if everybody, if both parties know their role and know what they're supposed to be doing in life, even before they meet each other, I think they will be able to come together and make a very beautiful home. Okay. Everybody, we're all doing it, one way or the other. Hey, when we come back, maybe I could talk about that. Perhaps, exactly. So, tell you what we're going to do. Let's do a very short break. When we come back, we have something very interesting inside of tech and another topic for you. But 
You can still make a comment on this one. Use the hashtag TheBlackTable on TVC and we'll read your messages just before the end of the show. We'll be back. Back, of course, you already know. The show is live every single Friday from 11 o'clock and these gentlemen here are often with me. Femi on the right and, of course, Mr. Asai on the left and to my far from backbencher, Mr. G-A-N-G, Mr. Gang in the house. Now let's do tech. So today on tech, we have a very interesting one here. We're going to show you this video in just a bit, but it's called the Blackbone One Mobile Gaming Controller. Everybody here is a gaming fan. Now this is a gaming controller that slides onto your phone and allows you to play a variety of games on your handset in more of a console-like style. If you remember what those uh, PS2s and everything, I mean, hey, they still are the same way. Uh, it makes it look like a Nintendo Switch or a Steam Deck or something like that. But at a fraction of the cost of what you buy all of those because you're just plugging in your phone. As well as working with a number of uh, native mobile games that you can find on Apple Arcade or, you know, the Google Play Store. If you opt for that Android version, which I <clears throat> am very, very, you know, about these days. The Blackbone One is also comparable with uh, various, uh, compatible rather, with various streaming solutions including Xbox Cloud Gaming, PlayStation Remote Play, Amazon Luna and uh, NVIDIA uh, and much more. Now, I don't know if anybody's got this here in Nigeria, but you guys remember being bachelors, yeah? I used to have this, I still do have my, 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 my uh, music set. Humongous, I've got like six speakers, if not eight. And I used to plug my game into it. Oh. So that's the only thing that I see that this is not gonna be able to co be compatible with. Because I used to love people walking into the estate and then all you could hear was the game booming from it. My <laughs> Get over here! You know, exactly. It was so rich, it was big. I don't know if you could do that with this one now. Everybody agrees, including the Gen, Gen, Gen Zs here we have in the studio. They all agree with me that that's the only way that you... Are you a gamer? I used to be, but, uh, you know, certain responsibilities these days have taken gaming away from me. But this looks pretty cool. Being a father. Pretty dope. I would like to, I would like to have that. I saw them playing Mario mm -hmm. and, you know, all those games we used to play oh, on Mario, oh, Game Mario. Boy. And, oh, Mario. This ain't no Candy Crush. Mario. This ain't no Candy Crush. No, but Mario, Mario, come on, Mario. <laughs> Good old wow, Mario. Man. Iconic, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I think that was, um, Emotional that was the first game everybody ever played. Even up until now, if you're like, really yes. moving from the, you know, yes. all the regular was it called, you'd have to have a, a bit of play. Mario in your system. Yeah, yeah people are playing Mario, Mario. people are playing uh, Sonic on Sega. Ah, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> you're calling things, man. I can even still smell the pot. <laughs> so so this, this takes me back to those days. Ah, man, you're taking me you back. Remember what's, what's that with the box one, the one with the cartridge? The one. That's, uh, that was a Game Boy. That was a Game Boy, yeah? Ah. Yeah, Game Boy. Oh. Game... Why now? If Come you on. snuck one into school. Babao. Why? Yes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, dear. Ah. That, oh, was, that, be, that was that was the ish. That, that was the, the ish. Oh, like, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. It was good. Days. But hey, we're nostalgia here. We're getting carried away. Uh, Listen, let's get back into the stem of things here as we're about to talk about our next topic here. Let's do a short break, and when we come back, this one, well, it's kind of like similar. You had something you want to finish. Oh, yeah. Then. I'm going to let you plug it into this topic eventually. No problem. So just stay tuned in just about a bit. <laughs> So, have you guys seen it? It's a very interesting video that made rounds since Thursday and everybody's like, either mm, he deserves it or ah, poor guy. The wages of cheating is, I don't know, you tell me. A family had one epic family meeting they call an intervention when children exposed their father's affairs, you know, on big screen TV and their mother in the um, company, in company of their mother and their father. Did you guys see the video from during the weekend? Oh, sorry, the, during the week. I did. It was a Ugandan family in the UK. Mm. And if you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. Ugandan family in the UK. Father's been cheating serially with, uh, in the US rather. Father's been cheating serially with his, uh, well, on his, uh, um, on uh, the, mo the mother. Three girl children of age, I would say somewhere around, I think they're teens. And they're teenagers, yeah. About yeah. Teens. Mm -hmm. teenagers. Mm -hmm. What they did was they put out every single message that their father had been sending to his side chick on display for everybody to see, recorded it, and put it on social media. Oh One thing I okay. thought was a bit unnerving was the fact that mother was sitting there, children were, be, children were being absolutely expressive, let me not uh, use no, say other... Right, say the right, say what you want to say. They were being absolutely... Sh disrespectful. Disrespectful. Say it, yes, disrespectful. Because there's no way 
I watched that video, and the first thing that came to my mind was that, ah. So for me, mm -hmm. I like to circle back to the very beginning. Mm -hmm. That is evident that as a father, you failed in raising your children. Because mm -hmm. there is no way on the face of the earth I would look my father in the eye and say a quarter of what those girls said to their father. Yeah. There is no way any of my kids today would look me in the eye and say, hey, that's your father. Mm. <sighs> but, you, but you know something? You know, it's not just the parents that raise children. Mm -hmm. The society does too. Okay. If you if you if you raise your kids, if you raise if Have you, you seen the video. Yeah, but if you raise your kids, if you raise your kids in the Yoruba land. Yeah, you wouldn't expect that that's ever gonna happen. You if you, you raise your kids kids in Ibadan, mm -hmm. your children will always greet you. In if you raise your kids in France, they would not greet a Okay. My kids are raised in the Kenya. Hmm? Yes. Three months ago, I called them, the girl and the boy, I said, okay, you know what? You can't be greeting me and say, Daddy, good morning. You, the girl, you kneel down where we are from. Mm -hmm. We kneel down to greet. Mm -hmm. You, when you want to greet me, you lie down on the floor. At first, it was like weird to them, like, what's all this rubbish? But after a while, it became normal. You know why I did that? Because I realized that the, when I go out, because I was raised by my grandparents. Yes. When I go out and I see other people. That's how you greet. You greet, them. right? You understand? And then they always give me a second look like, oh, okay. What's, what's Daddy what's doing? And then I now realize that not only can they not speak Yoruba, which is my fault, by the yes. way. They don't even know our culture anymore. Yes. So these are kids that are going to have no identity if you are not careful. Of course. Which is exactly what I see with those girls. Because there is no way, there is no, there is no universe in which you can slice it and say, that's your father. After God, that's the next man. Yeah, that, 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 All right. That, 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 let me get at you. Let me get at you from this. You see, although that video was very cringe for me. Cringe worthy. You know why it happened that way? Because the mother... Allow. Was the head of the house. Papa, no, but that was their Thank mother's you. fight. This is, that was this their is mom's this fight. Is the mother is not their fight. was the head of that household and had the influence over the children to allow them to do that BS to their father and put it on social. You know what? You know the part that, See, that, was you, know the part that you know the part that blew me off. Not only did you guys drag your father all over the streets, you recorded it and press send. Um, and yeah, press exactly. send. You put press it on send. social media. Ah. So I was about saying something to. Okay. Be, 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 you, I, I said something. I said the reason why. In, it's not just for marriage alone. It's for everything, business, you know, any kind of relationship you have. Mm. The reason why things don't work out well is because people don't know their place mm. and what, to, how to, how to function in their place. Place them now, that family. Place everybody. You I said would, that before, the be, mother was a before was the head I place, of the house. Before I place them, let me place this table. Okay. Imagine if I don't know my place here, and then I stand up and I go and start touching the camera. And then he stands up and then he starts talking. When you say, when you say, okay, uh, we're going on the break, he says, no, we're not going on the break. We're here together. We'll do this now. I, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Everything, everything in this life, mm -hmm. everything is is created the way God created, orchestrated this world. Structure. But there's an argument. Structure. With the structure. There's an argument. And so if a man doesn't know He's, his place wait, and a woman doesn't know his place, and I, I, I will tell you straight up, even while I'm putting this out, I don't agree with it. That this man was or has been a serial cheater. He's Ugandan. Hmm? I have friends that are Ugandan. <laughs> no, 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 like that. No, no, it's straight up. Like no, 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 no. Ugandans. They are Ugandans, right? Mm -hmm. Polygamy is legal mm -hmm. in Uganda. Mm -hmm. How do I know? In Istanbul, the guy that cuts my hair, mm -hmm. there's this other fine girl that is always there. So the, the other time I went in, I was like, oh, where's, your, um, where's your girlfriend? Like, no, she's not my girlfriend, she's my sister. I'm like, oh, really? You're like, yeah. Our mom died, so she went home to bury the mom. I'm like, she went home to bury your mom. Why, you know, you were like, oh, she's my, that, uh, my, you see how explained it to me that she was a step -sister. I'm like, oh, okay, really? I'm like, wow. That's weird. They were like, what's wrong with you? Are you not African? It's normal. And then I did a little bit of research and I realized that it is a legal thing mm -hmm. in Uganda. Like, nobody's even going to look at you twice if you say, this is my first wife, this is my second wife, this is my third wife, mm -hmm. right? So let's first leave that aside. They are Ugandans. Forget that they live in the UK. Forget they live anywhere. The families that they left back at home, mm -hmm. I'm talking extended families. Mm -hmm. If their grandfather is scrolling through Instagram and he sees that, he's probably yeah. just going to die. Yeah. Ah, yeah, what, what's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, did he do goes, wrong? What, what, like, what's going what on? Yeah, but family, see, what, when I said something, I said, the, the, it's, it's not just the family, it's not the, just the parents that train, raise children. Yeah. Society. Or the society. Now, the Ugandan man has left Uganda, They've where he's to different society. free to do whatever he has to do. Good. And he has come to Europe. No, it's, the US, it's the US. US, the, US, US yeah. the US, where he's not. Where oh. the woman is, can kick you out of the house anytime. And listen, you, you, just because she, he married a Ugandan, mm -hmm. 
doesn't mean they are in Uganda. Jo no, that no, that no, doesn't no, mean no. she's Uganda. I have so much to say. But, but if, you, if you look at the I'm video, sorry. if you look at the video as well, the way he sat there in shock. Baba, he was just. Uh, he was in shock. He was just uh, receiving. What's going he on? Was Me. They were saying that they were using the F word or their father. That oh, yeah, that's and yes, was, in my mind, now. I was like, what on earth is going on? Yeah. And there was, some, there, there was something he's Philip said that I, that resonates with me. They don't even know what they've put themselves in by no. putting this thing online. Of course. It will live there forever. Mm -hmm. forever. People will look at them like, oh, isn't that your dad? Somebody when they become parents, actually. people will be like, isn't that your granddad? So that this is what somebody said, actually, uh, while I was having this conversation outside of here. person said, okay, so your father messed up, yes? But what you have done has far outweighed whatever crime you've committed. Times so now what society is going to do, and they'll be very surprised that their society is just going to cuddle him and like, guy, I'm sorry, we, 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 we empathize with you. Because that's how bad it went. So First off, I also want to note, that mother sat down there looking at her children, be utterly disrespectful. She's Ugandan, remember to her own husband. What is she telling them? Well, it takes it back to what he said, though. You, they are not in you, Uganda. You are, so it's a different see, no, rule. Wait, it's wait, a wait, different ballgame entirely. Listen, I, I she don't would care. not do that if they were in no Uganda. No child of mine will talk to me that way. No, you don't, 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 don't. Um, never, How? Never, How? Never, no matter what. Um, um, it's a matter okay, of... Okay, can can I, can never. I just say something? Let's, let's not take away from the fact that, yes, the father is not innocent. Do you mm. understand? Why? Why would you say that? Because that, that's an argument I had with a friend of mine. Day before yeah, because yeah, here's the funny thing. If, when, when it comes to infidelity, mm. do you understand? Where, you're he's not just, where he's coming from, for, that word doesn't exist. Listen, no, no, no. no let, let's be yes, honest. Let's, listen, let's polygamy, place it right. Polygamy might be legal in Uganda, Uganda. but if you choose to be... Outside of Uganda. No, if you choose... Do you know how many kids... Do you know how many women Akon has? That's Akon. Akon. That's his choice. You live in America. You're allowed, see, let me tell you this. Femi, Femi, there's some Muslims that are entitled to have four wives, but they choose to have just one. Yeah. So if you choose to have just one and you raise them a certain way, you should be able to commit and say, you're the only one I have. Mm -hmm. You get where I'm coming from? I, I so here's the funny thing. People would say, in terms of infidelity, if you cheat on your wife, you're cheating on the family. The daughters feel cheated. He's not innocent of this, but the way they handled it is different. Yeah. Now, they really should, to an extent, find out the reason why you never know whether it's the, why the guy cheated or why he has a side that, check. Sorry, 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 sorry. The guy doesn't have, I'm coming. The guy doesn't have an excuse. First off, he went. He went. He really went far. Do you know he actually made a video? What if, what if, wait, what if wait, the wait. guy says I'm going to have another? Wife, I'm coming. Or many wait, wives, guys. like Femi says. Hang what on. did the daughters now say? Society goes back to what. Wouldn't ask daddy why so, you bring another wife. Oh, because no, I was, I was back, going to go there. Well, he's, it's inexcusable. Why? Because he actually, um, and this is this is where I don't. I will never side with him. He actually did a video of another woman inside of their matrimonial bed. And that was what actually did really the woman come to the, uh, Did the woman come to the U.S.? The, no, I see, the women the U.S. too now. No, what if, what what if I'm that, trying to... What if like, dad said... Yeah, was it a list? I, 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 I don't think... I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any... There's any right way to cheat. Hmm. I don't think there's any right way to there's cheat. There's no right way. Cheat, but what if yeah? the guy said... Once you cheat, you've cheated. It's wrong, it's wrong. Exactly. If you but what if, the guy told them, what if the guy told the daughters as they're reading the message and he says, Oh, that's actually going to be your stepmom. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You know, no, I was no, wondering, I so something? I kept wondering, I? why didn't you guys just say, oh, like, you guys are yeah. like, insulting your stepmother, what were they going to do? But that's the, that's the, that's the very, the very sweet part of it. If you want to, if, I think, I think we have, we, our, our culture, our African culture, people look at our polygamy. Which doesn't polygamy. exist anymore. Yeah, well, people, it's not just even our African culture. I yeah, people shocked to see, mean, polygamy is what? Po people think that polygamy is as dirty as they want to make it look like. Mm -hmm. because they do not understand that as at that time, it was even very well organized. Mm -hmm. You don't go around, I was almost using the F word, but you don't go around just shagging any girl you see along the street mm -hmm. just because you want to become a polygamist. Yeah, if you wanted to shag If you someone, want to marry wife. her, you marry her. Mm -hmm. And there are rules for you marrying her, rules of engagement. It has to even be rules of engagement with your wealth. With your household, okay. with your house you know, space, just marry second wife, you, you just bread. don't mm. marry <laughs> second wife. And whereas your farm is as small as this table, table. Okay, feel they look at your farm. It. They look at everything. It, it, In it, most cultures, actually, you marry a wife because you have a big farm. Because you, you need had, to actually you help had the you way. Well, now getting married to, for, to your second wife. It's not as trivial as we make it look like. Your dick gets hard, and then at the end of the day, you, you you end up <laughs> you end up having you end up having I sexual think... intercourse, and then you say you well, are you're getting married. But wait, wait, what about the mother? Nobody's saying anything about the mother's role in all of this. The mother was Is wrong. She... No, but, but the mother she was wrong. I, you know what? I, you know what the mother did. You can't fault her. She didn't say anything. She allowed it to happen. She was just looking. 
But that's she allowed it. Baba, silence is, you know, if you would have to. Femi, Femi, you, we said something just now. I was saying something just now. I said, if you know your place and you function in your place, oh. everything works out well. A woman is supposed to understand Let very well that her, her sorry, her, a, a wife is supposed to understand very well that her husband is her crown. Yes. You break your crown, you break your, your security. Yes. No matter what the society tells you when the society keeps telling you to go out and divorce every month. Have you ever seen women, have you seen the rate of, of, of the, the rate of divorce and how divorcees, women, feel after the divorce? Most women it's don't get... It's very liberating. No, it's not as... For them. No, for them. It's not as it's liberating. Very liberating. It is not... I'm you saying... You can't tell them otherwise. Can I finish? Though. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Baba, I get friends that are divorced. You can't tell them otherwise. It is not as liberating as you think. You can't tell them otherwise. When it's liberating for the first maybe how many years? Because they're young. When you go all, all the way to you 50... You begin to regret it. You regret it. How many women who are divorced, who kicked divorce, are married again? No, I think it worked good. And when a woman okay, divorces in this scenario, once, in this she, scenario. she's likely to divorce again. True. Because she has, cro she has crushed no, her security and crushed her crowd. Okay, no, Philip, but I think but real quick, scenario, is, okay. No, I'm saying, I'm talking about women only. Real quick, no, we're we're Philip, about Philip, and right Philip and guys, in this scenario, what do we think the father should do to the children? Or the family as a whole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let me go first. No, 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 please, please. <laughs> let me go first. Tell me, tell me what, what do you think the father should do? After watching that, I'll stand up. I told my friend, I'll stand up. I'll go into the room, pick like two or three shirts. They will never see me again. And when I say never, I mean till the day we both die. They will never see me again. You feel? Because, you know why? Because every time I see them, mm. it's a reminder of my failure as a father. Mm. Because those girls are going to marry someone and... If they could talk to their father like that, yeah. how they talk to their boyfriend, how they talk to their husbands. Because in all honesty, my wife can't even talk to me like that. Mm. My sister can't talk to me like not that. Even the wife in the video could. Dude, not to now talk of my child. Mm. They will never see me again. Because if I see them, I will be reminded that uh, uh, you know try. Oh. Like there's there's no forgiving it. For well, me, what, what, will I, no do? what will I do? I don't think well let me address what you said. I don't think you should run away. It's not running away. Uh, well, it's disconnecting. Well, because you don't, you don't want you to see, you don't you see when you, again. When you don't want your phone to ring and you remove the battery. Yeah. <laughs> every man, every man is supposed to, every human being, not just man, every human being is supposed to face the consequences of their actions. Mm -hmm. The reason why we, the reason why this world is so messed up is because people believe that action and consequences are not opposite end of the same stick. Mm. You pick up action, consequence so on the follows. Other side. Okay? This is action, this is consequence. I pick up action, consequence has to follow. But the problem is that we, we live in this mirage. We live in this diluted fairy tale that consequence should not follow your action. Mm. As, a, as a human being, as a man who, who is well cultured, if you have messed up, you own up to your mess up. Let me tell you what his mess up is. I'll tell you what his mess up is. His mess up is not that he, he ended up having sex with, with multiple women. His mess up right now is that his children came on the internet mm -hmm. to do it. That's it is, is, it is it. not the children's, you see, it is not the children's <laughs> mess up right now. Try well, to hang understand. Hang on a second. It is his own mess That's up. That's why I said I will see them again. You have to face but it. Philip, hang on. Never. Hang on. Hang on. Never. You go wait, face them. Now you're messed there, up. There is also ah. the opinion that the marriage is between the father and the mother and the, the children have no say whatsoever. Ideally, yes. That's Ideal, what I... Ideally, yes. Ideally. Well, yes. Ideally. There could have been an intervention and all, but I think that that matter by the children should have been presented to the mother. This is what we discovered. That is your husband, grand face, grand, grand, grand meet her. The and children? Grand him. That's, that's how I don't even know how the mother been. was comfortable if, sitting down with her kids, yeah, from how, lashing how her own band. The, you know the, the, the father... The and father. I am sure that they perhaps brought it up to her and said, this is what we want to do to daddy, yes. and she perhaps gave them the go-ahead. Because... Go -ahead. But, but here's the same okay, thing. See, okay, guys, right, check this out. And I'm sure all of you will agree with me. If you know the amount of information or the amount of knowledge that our mothers and wives know on their husbands, Thank and you. don't reveal. Thank you. Thank you. That's another thing to look That's at. That's an African man. Things that your mother, Femi, Philip, Bazino, your yes. mother knows about your yes. dad yes. that she keeps to very, herself. Very true. She yes. has bared with it. She's yes. lived in the home. She hasn't left. She hasn't exposed it. She's tolerated it. Yes. I'm not saying it's a good thing. To just stay in it in, in toxicity, or maybe like just stay Wait, in a house that. I'm not even but saying. But women, like mm. African women, 
tolerate so much so all that, that you'll be surprised when they would see expose. all that buzzword. Can yeah, I ask yeah, you? Yeah, 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 all those things, they, they almost upset me, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, they almost upset me because I'm like, People are so soft nowadays, you can't even say anything. Thank you so much. I'm like, people, like, thank you. We you have can't even say anything. Have, both of us are agreeing on something now. You were talking about that when we started. I, 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 you I can't even say anything. Say something. What do you call toxic? Like, why you, any why, small why thing, is it, oh my why God. Is it, why, is it that, why is it that this generation right now, anything. They, make, they make it look like my mother or your was mother. so weak. Your mother endured a terrible Did marriage. she tell you that? Why should you make it look like that? Did she Why tell should you we that? Make it look like that? Can I say something? Because my mother doesn't want Can to go I with her friends, go and wear bikini say... in France exactly. and doing like this. Can I say something? She... Like, what are you saying? <laughs> Whether you like it or not, yeah, as a woman, as a woman. Give me a okay, Barry Lara. As a woman, you must, the most, the... <laughs> I'm sorry. It, you may not like it, but it's the truth. As a ah. woman, your, your greatest oh accomplishment... Goodness. I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, but the thing your greatest me. accomplishment, I'm your greatest accomplishment right now it's ah. not your career. Mm -mm. Whether you like but, it or guess not, what, guess what? I don't even want to... See, it's not your career. Bye -bye. You can have all... It's your home. It doesn't even... Your concern. children. It can be your, your career. Home. It's fine. My brother... But don't tell somebody else that says, okay, my home is my, my greatest... It's my, it's my greatest... Don't home. now tell her that, oh, you are suffering. You are suffering. Did she tell you she's suffering? Like, I can never understand it. You guys it. shake hands now. No, because no, no, I can never understand it. I'm grateful. I'm happy that we are saying like, this together. Oh, our mothers in jail, their mothers. Did she they tell you that? What? What? She didn't tell you that now. See, let me even say something. <sighs> Look at our grandmothers. Our grandmothers are actually so happy. They are. Guess what? Men, you know what I realized? fast forward? About, you know what I realized? Those women actually control those men. Thank you so much, they man. They control I those men. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, my father right now, you my father what? and my mother, they are, they are, my father is married, to my, uh, they're still married. Okay. But this, growing up, I could understand what, you, what we called toxic. Mm -hmm. I, I saw it as a learning process. Because these two people met themselves and at the end of the day, they got married. My brother, if, if, no matter how good we are right now, looking at ourselves and you know, smiling, if we start living in the same house, me and you, mm. Mm. we go we fight. You go but listen to yeah. me, if we are supposed to be together, Forever, me and you, mm -hmm. as friends, say we know the commots, say we go to the house. We will learn how to live with one another. Yeah, I, you know In what the I next like? 10 years, 20 years, it will be so smooth. I like so that beautiful. you added yeah. back as friends there because that gay relationship. No, 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 no. no. I'm not that good. I know they're looking at it. No, but I think Zido was interested in. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you that. Hey, young man. But, 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 joke, but jokes aside, though, jokes yeah. aside, all jokes aside, I feel like in the era we live in now, Tell you. you can't really say things the way they should be said. Nah. You can't tell people the truth because you have to consider their mental health. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. where it was existing before now. <laughs> and like I really don't understand how we lived before now because any small thing, oh, you can't tell them that. And I'm like, toxic. You are destroying people. Toxic. Like you're watching people slide down slippery roads where you know they will never make it back from exactly. because you're like, okay, you know what? We have to, you can't be conservative. You have to be sure. Mm. Okay, fine. It's okay. But if you're going to speak for my opinion, I'll tell you the truth. Like, I think you're messing up here. A friend of mine, I told her the truth once, and then um, we stopped being friends. Uh -huh. And then when I look at her all the time, like, at what point is this girl going to realize all these things? At mm -hmm. what point are you going to realize that, okay, these things are actually... Because they're staring you in the face. Yeah. Like, that's what I said about being divorced mm -hmm. and women thinking that, okay, because I'm divorced, it's very liberating. They feel liberated at the moment. At the, I, well, you're but not going to have that again, feeling I, for the rest yeah, of your you life. Won't. I you won't. Said, you're, see... See, do not, do, I, I, do not, we should not in any way, when we have the mic, preach to women that is, it's so glorious to walk away from your marriage. But that's it's what so the world glorious. tells them now. But that's it's what not, the world tells everybody now. It's so glorious now. not to work for your marriage. I How would a woman, that woman is not actually, she's not protecting her husband. She's not protecting her home. She's not, the, the marriage is not even important to her. So you, 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 you want to tell me now that the, person who you are, because if you do it, if you put it up on the internet, it means any, any Tom, Dick and Harry can give you an advice. My father told me something. A madman can even our, give you our marriage is stronger now in any my case. Father, well, my, hang on a second. Our marriage is stronger, marriage stronger no, now in not. any Absolutely. case. Absolutely. No, no, wait, wait. Not. With, the, with the interference of um, no, they're not. this there's no, Western no, no, culture. There's no needs. They are not. Absolutely they're not. They're not. People disengage from marriages too easily now. Now, I mean, that's a one-year marriage. They released this track. Well, uh, uh, what are you saying said now? They said they, 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 they are not stronger now. There was a report that said that. 
destruction. Yes, sir. But let me attack you. Let me attack Femi a little bit. Yes. Okay, we're saying marriages are not stronger now. No, they're not. Now, but the funny thing is that even our parents and what they went through and tolerated and didn't tell us the secrets. If some people had told you certain things about marriage, you probably wouldn't have gotten married. No, mm. I, but I but said, like you said, said you it. Have to I said it. I said it. I said it before we started the show that. So the truth of the matter is, marriage is something that you learn on the go. While oh, you are yeah. in the go, yeah. Like there's no roadmap. You make the road as you go. Yeah. So in all honesty, if all of us, most people, and I think I speak for most people, they probably might not want to say this, but if you know what you know now, you probably might have said, mm, nah. Well, so, so can, can we even save them? Can save, we save who? Let's save. No, but you, so I, I feel. Let me let me show you how we would save. Okay. Because marriage is still going to happen. Mm. So, but the truth is, people are not going to get married. There's an argument yeah. that, if, on, if, on that if we, one. The yeah, argument is this, that eventually people will no longer get married. Married, yes. That people will simply free. just sign contracts for, for tenors. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. You know, yeah, five years, yeah, and then yeah. we renew that kind of thing. Like, yeah. oh, after yes. five years. Now, now, now hold on. Years. Can I say something? How dangerous is that going to be? So here's the thing, though. How dangerous is it going to be? Can I just say how dangerous I think it will be? Then you can tell me. You're bringing out kids. You're bringing out very dangerous things into the world. Osama bin Laden that will was record one, you put you Osama bin Laden is, was one man. One man. One person. So you think marriage, can is, you think marriage, um, marriage is where you don't have a father and a mother in the home is going to bring more of that. That's not the problem. Actually the real no problem is the fact that most people in the world that we live in today have no spine. Oh, yes. Okay. People are we're, so we're, soft. We're, we're Femi, back to Philip, we're Femi, so, Philip, we're, Philip look, real quick, yeah. I wanted to know. Now, what we, what we saw in the video, the kids, the mother, and all that rubbish nonsense that went on, what is the future of that marriage going to be like? There's no marriage there. What's, what's going to happen? There's no marriage there. Forget it. That guy that you got, that guy now. Nah. Give, give, give us... Uh, uh, like, you know, if he goes this way... Me and you be guy. Make I just help you. Me and you be guy. Mm. You be Uganda and be Uganda. So I saw that video. Ah. Mm. Uh, you... The Aguarine babe for you. <laughs> no, the okay, okay, no, check this out. Uh, the marriage... There's no marriage there. The marriage might be like at... at uh, Dude, man, there's no marriage there. No, we're Africans. Let's so be honest. Like, kids? let's. What about the kids? What about the, what? No, they, they chose why? their part. I'll tell you something. They about chose the their kids. part. Mm -hmm. The moment they went against their father, I want to believe that after that video, they all left the house, because that's the only way it will make sense. Because I don't see a future where in the morning, so they have their bath in the morning when they're going, hey, hi, dad, or what? What do you do after put, putting your entire life on blast like so, that? What happens the next day? Mm. Okay, dad, can you drop me off at school? Dad, I need money for food. No, you're not going to say that. So the advice. That's the end now. The advice mm -hmm. to him would be to walk away from marriage, right? He, well, he would no, never there's no advice. What you would do in that case. I mean, everybody. Yeah, he, well, what, what would you have done? Again, I said it's it's your it's your, it's your mess. So if you were if that you guy, what would you have done? Family, what would if, you have done? If you if you always had a culture of facing your mess and mm -hmm. cleaning your mess. No, you would, you would, no, no. it's your, it's, but it's Philip, your mess. Philip, he has messed up. Yes, okay, and they've outed him. Now what? Where, where do we go from there? Yes. It's very easy. For, you simply call scales. Stay, he stays, he's, you call he stays, scales, he's, I just drop it this no, back. No, okay. Scales says, hey, fire let's, 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 let's you say, to help my serious. kids. Wait, wait, hang, let's hang let's again. Serious. Have your family meeting. Call your wife. But well, they don't, they're not going to even call. No, hold on. But you do it, you're not, but you do it anyway. Sorry, wait, hang on, Femi. You do it anyway. You're going. Call family yes, meeting. Yes, you call for you apologize. Call your, wife. your family meeting is not your father. Your family meeting is your wife and your kids. Okay. You do we record that one as well? Hmm? Do we record that one and put it on social media as if well? If that's what they do, if that's the culture they have already. So you, you know, you know what one of my friends told me once. He said if you have to remind your wife that you are the man of the house, you are not the man of the house. Mm. Uh, so if he has to call a family meeting on, to remind them uh, that he's the father. On, on that note, let's draw the curtain on this, yeah? And when we get back, we're going to be reading your messages, every single thing that you sent us. I see some on uh, YouTube as well. We're going to be reading all of that. If you don't know how to, use the hashtag across social media, um, The Black Table on TVC, and we'll read your messages. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. <laughs> Well, all right, it is the Black Table. My name is Mazino Appeal. Of course, we've got Mr. Femi in the house, Mr. Philip Asaya and gang in the background there. We have your messages. Thank you very much for sending them in. Use the hashtag, the Black Table on TVC. Let's read this one here. Actually, it says, Mazino and the guys, um, what are you people saying now? This man des desecrated their matrimonial bed, and this is not the first time he is doing it. The children just stood up for their mom um, the way they know how to. Just one of you, Asaya, real quick. What do you want to say to that one? No, it's 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 wrong. What the children did is actually wrong. What yeah. the man did is wrong. So okay, let me quickly fine. jump in as Real well. Real quick, gang. 
We're not saying that the children shouldn't have stood up, but to put that thing stood online, up, yeah, that was, put that their that whole family children, there, that's the problem. All right, Adjoka says, Mazino, please help me tell Mr. Femi that if he doesn't want to see the kids again, so be it. If he, uh, if it uh, was his daughter that went through this type of betrayal, meaning that if you cheated on your wife and they caught you, what will he do? My daughter would never. But if it ever talk happened. to me, Baba, you know, feed now. Can I talk to my father like that? <laughs> How more you rubani me now? Hey, how more you rubani? No, <laughs> no, uh, no. And we know they play thing, like that. The sad thing is that what Femi is even saying, at our age now, nah. we won't talk to our parents, our parents like, like that. that. My mother still slapped me recently. What you did you do? Do? Like, okay, so I was telling my son that he said something. He said, ah, like, your mom was slapping me like that. Ah, she can't. Oh, mom, she woes me. Whoa. Which I won't do? <laughs> I'm 42. Which I won't do? Akule, uh, Akule Shokes here says, uh, I beg, make gonna help me heal Mr. Philip. That's for you. Uh, God go bless them. Uh, yes, we are men and we, uh, we're proud. Eh? We are proud in cheating. But that man messed up. I know they do. Uh, did you say anything about... That, he's the one that we were talking about, though. Yes, the same if you heal you that no, you're no, no. congratulating. I know they do. I never said... I never said, <laughs> I never I said they're proud in cheating. I never Am said... I reading this wrong? Yes, we are men and we pride, take pride in cheating. But that man messed up big time. He's exactly. He's saying... He's saying... He's saying, he's saying I know uh, what we, I, I think he's just trying to say... The way you understand say, it. Maybe yeah, I read it wrong the first I time. I think he's trying to say that um, even we we need to start correcting men. Mm -hmm. We have to start correcting men. And men take pride yeah, in cheating, Yeah, they take pride that was in cheating. Over much. You, call, you call cheating polygamy. Mm -hmm. Cheating is not polygamy. True. Yeah. There are two different things. Are cheating and polygamy. You know, if you ah, want to, that's if you want marry, go marry. You, you guys are connected. Yeah, guys no, are react, react, react. No, because it's a fact, actually. It's actually yeah, a fact. Cheating is not cheating. Cheating is not cheating. Cheating says, uh, I just want to hail gang plus cheating now waste of money, I beg. One you know, woman, they keep bank accounts stable. <laughs> you never get money in the job. Uh. Yes, yeah. one woman, one what? woman. You one. never make it to stay as faithful as you can. Be like me, mm. the most faithful man in Lagos. Oh, and and ensure that you don't do these things. I almost choke. It makes you live longer. On YouTube, Let me shake him. on YouTube, and thank you for sending messages to YouTube. We have a couple there. This is uh, Abisola uh, Terry. It says, "What's this man saying? You married another wife in, uh, is different from uh, infidelity, exactly. cheating, which is actually yeah. uh, what yeah. we just said." A couple more messages here. Um, Irisa Bebe says, uh, "These Ogbanjis of kids need to be spanked because what the heck hell?" She says, "Is that?" That's not how you call out your father. father. No, nope, that was not an intervention. You can't even call out your father. That was Let's start from there. You can't. You can't call out your father. If you're African. Let's stop it. Real ah. life uh, Ijakpa <laughs> says uh, they, uh, they will regret filming this when they're grown. Of and um, why did the woman sit mute and didn't address it? Is she under a spell? Nope. I think that those ladies, the young ladies, have just become untouchable. I think that if I was going to date any one of them, exactly. I'd, if I thought, are you the girl in this video? Whoa. Mm, step out, man. Step out. Nah, step out. I, can't, I can't do that. That's was that your dad? That's why I said. Destroy your dad. You could destroy so your that's dad. Why I said, that's why I said the guy actually did a lot of men a major disservice because those girls are going to marry people. Mm -hmm. They're going to date people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, if they can talk to their father like that, how much more boyfriend? How much more husband? Can go watch you now. Spanky two, three, five. I feel the parenting of these children is whack. Exactly. Well, yeah, that's true. And I Thank was actually God bless you. going to. I, I skipped my mind to mention this. Some modern day parents are there forming woke until these little Thank devils will so send yes. them to the space yes. of hell. Exactly. So. I think, like you said, that the the, the, the father failed. I failed. I because think that it was just the upbringing generally. If your mother could acquiesce with you and say, "Go ahead and humi humiliate your father," so there is something wrong in their upbringing. That means there's something wrong in that union from the start, even from Thank before you those so kids much. We're were born. Even born. Yes. Something's wrong in there. So it's not just the father who's at uh, who's who succeeded in bringing down the reputation of the family. The mother as well. In fact. The whole family is just a mess. I think you know, I, want, I want to look for trouble. Go ahead, man. I want to look Feel for trouble. Like just, neck on the line. You don't have to answer this. Just, just put this at the back of your mind. Was there ever a time in your life till now that you knew that your father had stepped out on your mom? My father was a polygamous. My father had five brothers. They were all polygamous people. So were my grandparents. Like, we are Africans. You guys stop deceiving yourself, <laughs> though. We're Africans. So that idea of... I grew up with knowing that, okay, well, this is your father's wife, so are you your polygamous? mother. Am I? Polygamous. Right now, if I say, no, ah, I'm monogamous, I'll be lying to you. You do realize that this I'll is a live show and we can't edit anything, yes? But you do also realize that people that know me, 
Mm. <laughs> no, but somebody, the honest truth about life is... actually been very, very... No, but the honest truth about life is that... honesty. So people, people know you. People know you, right? Yeah. Why are you trying to act like you're Fanta when you're cook? There's the problem, no and another thing again, there's no point. But, 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 but do you no, know, do you know, do you know, go, 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 go poly. Do you no, know, no do you know, do you know that there are a lot of, there are some women now, some women, some culture of women who believe that men should be polygamous. <laughs> and they want to go into that kind of marriage. Guess what? Why not tell yourself the truth when you're meeting a particular so woman? I, tell yourself I, I the truth right from time. Uh, right from time and say, I'm, I, want, I want to be polygamous. I've told, so I tell people a lot of this, that, and I say it without any fear, that most times when men say, oh, like, ah, I know if you don't my wife, this thing, you never really know what you of might course. get. Of course. Mm. You never really know what you might get. Mm. Because even she says, we don't tire for you. Mm. That's one. And then she might also realize that, okay, you know what? The guy checks all the boxes. If this is only excess, let him have mm. it. Mm. There's that possibility. Yeah. But you're spending the rest of your life hiding phone. Like, I know people that have other phones that their wives don't know about. <laughs> I can't, I cannot do it. <laughs> then you go the message, you go, ah, how now? Oh. And then I come But let me tell you, Femi, a lot of people are going to watch this. A lot of Real people watch guy. this. And you know what they'll say? Well, while, while they would say, while if you flip the script, if, mm. if it's your wife that is involved with others, how would you My take question, why, why ask that kind of question? That's what's fine. No, so guess what? It's fine. Let me even say this. Let me, that's what it's always, always comes to. It's always, it's fine. Wait, wait, wait. Hi, hi. Life, you're like a program. You're either uh, iOS or what's the other one? Android. Uh, Android. Android. We try as much as possible to, I mean, life, you shouldn't be under life and just take it like that. You mold it by yourself. I've lived a life where I know without a doubt in my soul that I'm a great father. I don't need anybody to tell me. If, I decide, if my wife decides to leave me today, I can tell you for free that the kids are going to want to be with me as much as they're going to want to be with her, right? I also know that if she decides, okay, I'm not dating this guy anymore, we're still going to be great friends. I'm a very good person. I like to be as fair as possible to everybody involved. But I also hate causing people pain. Mm -hmm. Like, have you ever seen a woman crying because she saw a message on your phone? How does that thing make you feel? Ah, this human being, a whole living, breathing human being is crying because of something that I did. Mm, like drop a disc record. Like how, many, like how, how many of those can you endure as a human being before your heart breaks? Like it's always better to just leave your truth. Okay, madam, you know what? You and I, I think this is our own marriage. Maybe we'll have to tweak it. Tweak it here. It doesn't have to be what everybody has. Why, why have. does everybody think that, okay, monogamy is the only way? Why? Well, real quick, yeah, I just want to remind you that you're giving us just a tip for the, for the week. So get ready, get that one ready. Mm. Gang, yes, sir. you wanted to express so much uh, from before. This is your opportunity because we're almost out of time. So we want to get no, that out see, real quick. I won't lie to you. I, I think I, I love Femi more now. <laughs> the way he expresses no homo. himself. No homo. No homo. Ba, 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 fuck now. No. This, the things I say, and, and I get it a lot, but these are things that people want to say, but they, I don't know why. Maybe the amount they pay them or they feel like, okay. It's society. It's society. Religion, you feel, they track it, look, but I feel like the truth of the matter is people would love you more. If you're that expensive. If you're, if you're, if you're as plain as possible, they know, okay, yeah. what you see is what you get. Yeah. Like, I don't want to spend 10 years having to decode, okay, this is the kind of person this guy is. If you tell me that uh, I'm a monogamous man, I must not see you uh, talking to somebody on the phone and say, okay, I'll call you back, because I lie, they lie. Yeah. Philip, real quick, get, get, get everything out because we're almost out of time. Well, I just, I just believe both parties should always tell themselves the truth. That's, that's the basic. For you, learn to tell yourself the truth mm -hmm. when you are single. Yeah, right from look the start, your, yes, the foundation. Always, always learn how to look yourself in the mirror and say, this is the truth. Say it as it is. This is who I am. This is what I need to work on. This is, this is what I need to, 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 mm. to adjust. And have and then, bold conversations. Yes, then when you, meet, when you are very truthful to yourself, when you meet someone else, mm -hmm. tell the person, your mouth, they smell, <laughs> as the girl. And at the end of the day, when you're you able to tell, tell whoever you're with the truth like that so freely, then... You, Perfect. It's a different, and, it's a different, it's a different ball journey. game entirely. Now, tell you what, kind of let's journey. come to Femi, who's going to give us just a tip. No shoulders. Um, just round it up. Good advice for everybody that encompasses everything that we've been talking about. Be honest with your wife. Be honest with your husband. And have very difficult conversations. Like, I have a lot of friends. And I'm like, the things that people tell me, I'm like, did you tell your husband is there? Like, no. Did you tell your wife is there? Like, no. I'm like, why? Why are you telling me? Why are you me? telling me? Why do you feel so? Like, there's nothing I cannot tell my wife. There's nothing. Like, there's no, it will be difficult, we will fight, but yeah. 
I would rather hear it from me than don't somebody go else. Don't in. We said just the tip anyway. Just, just the tip, just baby. The tip. Don't. Gang man, that, 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 that. I just, know they It just hit, yeah? I know they did. I know they did. Let me go. Mr. Kelly, I know they did. Did he hit later? Like, ah. Yeah, he get it. Oh, he didn't get it. It was his idea. It was his idea. Gang, real quick, you want to say anything? Uh, we done? We good? It's, uh, man, we're getting drunk this weekend. We're already <laughs> there. So, me, yeah, I'm good. The party just already only started because even at the end of the show... Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What, what? Uh, one of our producers on the show, Okwe, oh. we've crossed... Is it midnight yet? Yeah, it's midnight on the birthday. dot. We've crossed over into her birthday. Oh, Happy birthday, birthday. Uh, Okwe. We love you so much. She's filled with so much <laughs> love, joy. Mm -mm. She's just a great woman mm -mm. that's done so much. She's just... When you see her, she's just full I of... I hope Okwe is not married, though. So much, yeah. so much I passion. hope Okwe is not married, though, because <laughs> this is the way they talk. Now, not hard at the year. Now, I don't know if our cameramen are enjoying this, but they've got to go. Oh, yes. <laughs> One in particular. <laughs> but it's okay. all good. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of yet another exciting edition here for the Black Table. Thank you very much for joining us and all of your messages that you sent in. We love you guys very much. Keep watching. It's going to be on YouTube, so you can always see all of his on that, on that, Oh my goodness. You're not kidding. <laughs> Undiluted God. utterances from God, this I man here. Go. We hope to bring him back again, and you guys will definitely be seeing him. And of course, Mr. Philip Asaya, that's Femi, that's gang. And we're saying good night, and we're still drinking tonight. Cheers. Bye. Catch you guys next week. Bye.